Hey guys, so you just bought DaVinci Expert Protocol and Serial Interface Analyzer. So in this package you will get DaVinci hardware. This device has two sides. On each side you will have fiber optics multimod, RS-232, RS-485 and RS-422. Uh, on the front side you have these buttons. On this uh, isolate button, you can isolate A side from B side. You can also uh, turn light on or light off for uh, fiber optics. Uh, you can turn on or off null mod for RS-232. And you can change uh, RS-485 and 422. Uh, this device has memory, so if you made configuration via software or uh, via these buttons and plugged off, the power supply it will still remember everything and it also has this nice feature it sticks you will also get this flash on this flash there is a software uh, on this software there is protocol analyzer and via the software you can also uh, control this little fella uh, here is external power supply uh, for your USB uh, one patch cord STST multimod uh, two patch cords of uh, FTP cables, uh, they're straight cables, uh, also RJ45 and on the other end you will get uh, wet contacts. It's for uh, RS-485-42 interface. It also has these adapters between DB9, DB25, uh, RJ45, DB9, uh, gender changes for DB9, and for DB25. So that's it. Hello guys, so I will demonstrate you uh, how to use this Vinci Expert. So at first I will try to connect it to computer and we will see what happens. So what you will need is this cable, mini USB, Vinci and let's try to connect it. Okay, so I can hear it's already plugged. So let's go to the my computer and manage. Okay, so you can see it has four ports. Uh, the first port is A side, uh, second port is B side, third port is for configuration. We will come to that later, and fourth port is not used. So in order to use the Vinci protocol analyzer fully, you need software. You can get software from USB stick, it's here, or you can download from the site. So the site is the-vinci.com. You can read about hardware here, or you can download software here. It supports both operating systems and you can download all the older versions if you need so. So I will not download it. So yeah, this protocol analyzer supports 101, 102, 103, 104, Modbus serial and TCP protocols. The hardware doesn't support 104, it doesn't have Ethernet. So yeah. The main window for uh, controlling um, this Vinci is the Vinci Expert. Uh, you can see it's successfully connected. It connected via COM3 port, as we talked before. So here you can almost you can do everything that you can do on buttons and even more. So here you can turn light on or turn light off. You can isolate A side from B side. You can change each RS-232 pins. Uh, you can also change between RS-485, 422. Uh, you can invert A and B, uh, Y and Z, if you're using 422. Uh, you can change terminating resistors or you can even disable it. If you have two or more winches connected, you can uh, select which one you want to control uh, via this window. 
uh, you can update uh, firmware uh, automatically or you can load from file uh, in order to get file file you will have to write support so let's try checking the update you're using the last version okay so that's it so we have this id i will show you how to connect to it as you can see i already connected fiber optics to the other end i will connect it to this vinci a side okay this id supports ic103 protocol so let's turn our analyzer okay so we can select here this id is our slave and our computer will be master so as i told you before i connected to the a side and a side is com1 uh, this really is pre-configured it's link and as do is one so it should be working okay you can see that telegrams are working and we got our events and some of the statistics so let's try to synchronize it and send general interrogation so you can see the data is flowing uh, you can also filter signals so let's say you want to see certain uh, type uh, you let's say there is like uh, going measurements type 9 and it's flooding but you don't want to see it so you can enable filter and you can filter nine okay so only type three so let's filter it also so what you left is with type one and type two when you're using filter in Evans a statistic will also be filtered so keep that in mind so let's try to send commands You can create command here or any signal if you're simulating slave. So type will be 20, it's gen general command. And let's try to turn it on. Yeah, it really worked. We received acknowledge positive. Okay. So that's it for 103. In this case, we have RTU 560. It has uh, RS-232. And on this uh, interface, we have pre-configured uh, 103 master. And we also have a relay. Uh, it's still fiber optics and 103 slave. So we can now connect uh, uh, FTP cable uh, from the second port, RS-232, to uh, B side of this converter. So let's take a cable. It's straight cable. And I will show you now uh, what is done on software. I already stopped master. So in order to see what is going on between these two interfaces, uh, we can change the monitor. So we select second port, the baud rate is the same. And also we need to change uh, RS-232 pins uh, because on R2560 RS-232 is on 2, 3 and 5. So let's start and see what is going on. Okay, so in events, we can see the telegrams are working.